I started drawing only nine months ago and recently I've taken some huge steps forward but lately I've been feeling like I'm plateauing and one of the practices I tried to combat this was drawing with no eraser and no undo and I actually did pretty well except I just tried the same thing while using no reference and now I feel like an Instagram model who fakes her pics now clearly this was gonna be bad but this bad I don't know and lastly my goal for today's video is to shatter through my plateau and this environment will put every failure on blast and as my good man Elon said more failures equals more steps to success did he actually say that no but i'm sure he would all right guys i'm on it already i already drawn another mole red except their eyes are pretty this time ai art robots cannot copy this stuff i'm on a different level also i want to mention when i say no reference i'm talking about like how in school you check your work after you do the problem completely using no reference would be a crime a sin all right guys so i've drawn even more faces and what are my opinions I'm having the same thoughts you're having. Bam. So I'm gonna go back to work now. But this time, I'm gonna do something that I've been told is a sin. Using boxes for faces. All right, I'm drawing faces with boxes now. And they are looking bad. But I don't think I've ever drawn this angle where you can see like the top of the head. So honestly, I take this as a win. Even if they look like men boobs, vile and uncanny, there's still some magic here. I can feel it. They feel strangely easy to draw for some reason. But I could be hitting myself with a placebo. So I started flip-flopping back and forth between balls and boxes. Rapidly switching over and over again but after hours of flip-flopping i couldn't find any leads to why i'm plateauing and again these look so terrifying i should call tanjiro also drawing with like no and do no just no everything it's so hard but as i said after all this i couldn't find a real lead to my plateauing so i had to come up with a new plan but all right what's the plan with a plan is already in action i feel like i already have a decent understanding of perspective and anatomy so i'm gonna spend loads of time breaking down poses how they're twisting how they're balancing their weight their 3d pieces but instead of drawing to test myself, it might be a lot quicker to get a grasp on what I'm missing if I test myself throughout the day. Just like in my own head. Just be like, hey, do I remember this? And then at night, I'll try to draw it. Now, this strategy is kind of a stretch. But hey, I ain't got nothing to lose but all my confidence. This could be broken. Guys, my heart is broken. It was a horrible idea. Also, I planned on doing breakdowns for just one day, but I spent three. The worst part is 10 minutes into the first drawing, I was like, oh yeah, this idea I thought of dog water. Like, sure, you guys can see what's going on here but i could have drawn this two days ago a little upsetting since i was very hyped but this made me question was this a result of the way i was practicing or was it my understanding of the fundamentals and after thinking about it for way too long i realized that maybe my understanding of perspective and anatomy isn't as good as i thought but the thing is i have no idea what aspect of them i'm missing all right so what's the plan today well they say if it ain't broke don't fix it but i need a plan that don't need fixing so the mission is simple i'm just gonna wander around aimlessly because to be honest i still have no idea what's wrong i already tried everything under the sun i know boxes i know how to anatomy i know my goal is to get things right on the first or third try but i don't exactly know what it is that i'm missing so i just started trying everything using references not using references relying only on perspective but guys here's when i came up with a great idea every time i felt like i was stuck i'd make a copy of the drawing so instead of just pointing at something wrong i'm trying to see what led me to making something wrong in the first place and guys this method here led me to learning about fat face syndrome you see how this face is wider than this face i have no idea why that happened so i drew another face and hoped that i'd find the problem and then another and another but i could not find the solution so i tried this make a bunch of copies method for bodies instead and again big face syndrome is here but this time it's a stomach and you see how i was like lost in the beginning and then i fixed it and then i fixed it again and then i finally came to something that was decent so the problem really isn't big face syndrome the problem is i don't know how to get it correct on the first try but gladly after all this experimenting for the first time ever i think i managed to make a character look like they're leaning forward i learned almost nothing today but at the very least this was a huge dub until i tried it again somebody please save me i need some saving it looks like i completely went back to day one as if i didn't progress in the slightest but honestly i feel very at peace i feel like i'm getting really close to finding the solution i still genuinely can't see the finish line but there are only so many things i can try and one of them will work all right guys i feel like shading something it's good to remove the shackles for a bit not gonna lie it feels weird to be like guys i can't draw anything <laughs> and then many video i draw and shade something i feel like i just told Told you guys i need a wheelchair but then i accidentally used my legs to stop myself from falling the purpose for me turning off the undo button was mainly so that i can show you guys that i am not getting this on first try like the more lines you see the more i was struggling but also there's like a huge difference between getting something right on the first try or even the third try than getting something right on like the 50th try this face only looks good because i've gotten really good at guessing i don't fully understand it. there's also a huge difference between drawing or actually i'd say a humongous difference between action 
poses and what I'm drawing now. But anyways. Oh no, guys, my secret has been revealed. Stop, don't look. Yeah, so this is Rebecca from Cyberpunk and I really like the way it turned out. I also made her extremely green on accident because my brain went AFK for like a good hour, but I think it works. I posted it on Twitter. If you're trying to check it out, the link is in the description below. I wouldn't recommend scrolling down too far though. It's a little curse down there, but sadly guys, it's time to put the shackles back on. Oh my God. All right, guys, after taking the L yesterday, I decided, okay, let me just see if I can actually draw a character in a decently hard perspective from imagination. And I did pretty well. I even did it twice. But to be honest, I already knew I could do this. I was just trying to boost my motivation. However, this was a huge leap because when I came back from eating lunch, I was like, yeah, sure, this is a unique perspective, but it's still pretty easy. Any harder and it would have broke. So I went back to drawing this hard pose I drew yesterday. And the idea here was if I can make a pose that's as hard as this one, perfect on first try, I could do anything. And each time I was stuck, I made copy after copy, multiple different takes, but I still didn't get anywhere. Except there was one huge thing that was clear after doing all of this. My perspective skills are a hundred percent way weaker than I thought. So now perspective skills are enemy number one. This will be the thing that will make me better. Except that failed as well. Or rather perspective wasn't the problem. I also decided to turn back on the undo eraser and all the other tools because I was like, what's the point? And now I'm just going crazy using the copy method whenever I'm stuck. I'm watching hours and hours of tutorials trying to fix these mistakes, making copy after copy. It is now day nine. So at this point, I'm frustrated. I had to point my blame on something and I blame the Loomis method. I have always hated the Loomis method and I might just never use it again. So now I'm using boxes and I haven't touched box faces in nearly 10 days. But again, there's just something magical here. Something is here without a doubt. So multiple times I flip flop back and forth between using the Loomis method and boxes. And I've read some places that using a box isn't the best method, but something I have noticed ever since I learned the Loomis method months ago, the harder the angle I try, the more it breaks. Or on the other hand, even though it's uglier, the box is yet to break on me. But I still wanted to continue switching back and forth, back and forth, non-stop. The ones with the balls were looking great while the boxes were looking rough. But even so, I continued non-stop the whole day until I made this. And the Loomis method just broke. And there's a couple things here, but there's something I missed this whole time. I've been using a 3D ball to draw the facial features when in reality is only for the head, which means that no matter how hard I tried to draw unique angles, I would never be able to get the eyes right on first try. I don't know who did it, but some YouTube video didn't tell the newbie to not use the ball guidelines to place the eyes. But on top of this, since the very beginning of time, I've searched up how much do I cut off the side of the ball? Google tells me to cut off a slice, which is not an answer because how much is a slice? So now I go on Reddit and I read this. The book talks about a small slice, but I have issues about what size it should take. This came from a Reddit user named as Ferrasso, who has a beard Reddit profile pic. And if he doesn't know how much to slice, then no one knows. And to further prove that the Loomis method has so much ambiguity, the top answer says, a small slice is roughly two thirds the height of the spear. Head shapes vary though, which is okay. That's actually an answer. But once you start to think about it, it's like, wait, wait, <laughs> did he say two thirds? <laughs> so if I were to chop off two thirds from one side and two thirds off the other side, I have no head. <laughs> So this was the last straw. I never liked using the Loomis method anyway. It always feels like I'm guessing while using it, but that's a half lie. Even though I'm dissing it right now, it's still really useful and I'll definitely come back to it. However, I once heard a man say, if you can't draw it in a box, then you can't draw it at all. Except that man was somebody inside my own head and he hates me, but I'm gonna follow it. For the rest of the video, I'm only using boxes. No ovals, no triangles, no bowls, boxes only. All right, guys, here's the plan. Right now, I'm just gonna whip out a splurge of faces. I grind it out cup. Copy other copy. It's looking like an assembly line without the children. And again, boxes just continue to surprise me. I am not able to draw these angles while using the Loomis method. I really do feel like there's like magic here. Something about it. But I'm gonna take a break now because it's night and I still don't exactly know what the next moves are. All right, so I drew this sketch. It was supposed to be power with Elon Musk. And I was supposed to paint them, but not gonna lie, kind of got disappointed with it. It's not actually bad, but it definitely did disappoint me. And I brought this up because something I've been doing is drawing in pen and my sketchbook and something about drawing in ink is always fun also i didn't want to make it seem like i'm just only grinding it out and now that i brought up my sketchbook i can't just not show it so right here we got spongebob over here you know vibing he's watching netflix Ochito over here oh this girl i messed up her mouth so i gave her a mask <laughs> if you ever see a mask just know that i messed up oh if you ever see an among us character that was my sister and oh my god guys would you look at that the first guy i ever drew and the only one you'll probably ever see. Although, oh, and then this, this character looks pretty cool as well. And then lastly, we got this 
I don't even know what to call that thing, but it's chilling on an ostrich. And lastly, before I went to bed, I still wanted to shade something, but I want to use this time to talk about my goal, aka the reason why I'm grinding so hard. And it's still the same as last video. I want to learn how to draw from imagination from any angle. I am too slow at drawing characters right now, and trying to draw a manga and make YouTube videos do not mix. And if I want to make a manga, I can't be using a reference 100% of the time. Like if I were to have perspective and anatomy issues for every panel, it, it just would not work. But also, so this way if i really needed to like slow down and learn how to draw something random like a turtle i could do it and lastly again i'm hiding the references and then i'm using the reference to check my work i just want to say that because i don't want to mess anybody up all right so what am i shading right now well this is one of my favorite drawings i also like that to use angry it kind of fits the vibe for the video so i was like hey i'm just gonna go crazy with the colors you know this was it was a straight up vibe but anyways i just woke up and realized it is totally possible for me to get good at drawing characters within the next week i will make it happen but before i get back to drawing i need to do a deep dive into something even more important than drawing more important than perspective anatomy or anything else i need to learn how to learn sounds goofy i know however this is something i've been doing every day during this video i think it's helped a lot but today i'm just gonna spend a full day watching them but sadly there is some goofy suspicious stuff out there like this experiment where 144 basketball players were divided into two groups group one physically practiced shooting balls well group two practiced shooting mentally and by the end of the week they improved nearly by the same amount the key here was that they were experienced and intermediate basketball players so based on this experiment technically you can practice art inside your own head without drawing let me try it out real quick let me try it out oh damn i just do something to say yo you guys wait here wait you guys can't see it here i'll show you you guys see what i'm talking about like bro that's actually pretty good that's pretty good not gonna lie i do actually believe this but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking. But all right, here's when I started to run into that crazy shit. This man is playing chess blindfolded and he's winning. That is some Superman stuff. I ain't even watching a learning video right now. I got sidetracked. Michelle Curry just makes videos that are just too good. However, this is giving me another lead. Chess ain't that different from art, to be honest. Bro is playing blindfold instead of an art visual library. He has a chess visual library. So I started searching up chess learning videos. But as I crept further down this rapid hole, I ran into this guy. Except this guy made me feel pretty skeptical i know they say don't judge a book by its cover but hear me out he kind of looks like a guru he has a polo on he's showing me a pyramid and to top it all off he has a course the perfect spell for getting me to instantly click off the video but his video was pretty interesting so i stay and justin right now is talking about this triangle it suggests that not only can you skip the memorization and understanding stages of learning but also the applying stage aka drawing and lastly he says at the top of the pyramid it's all about the big picture or in other words drawing can connections among ideas and you know what this video was pretty damn interesting justin had a very unique take on learning so i watched one video two videos ten videos and there was something that he mentioned in every video the big picture he said it in every video without fail which made me repeatedly question what is the big picture in art and i was like i know anatomy i know perspective so something like a 3d nose could be the big picture but that's what i tried thinking even bigger even bigger and i feel like i was able to get some ideas to start sparking i think i got somewhere here look at this angle this eye is smaller than this eye the ear disappeared and you can't see the nostril there's only like three things here there's more but it's pretty simple but now if i look at this angle it's like holy there's so much here the nose is overlapping the eyes i can see the bottom of the chin this part of the forehead's missing i can see the back of the skull but to top it all off there's stuff i can't even point out and then it's the same with this angle this angle this angle and by looking at these angles now i'm given a good reason to actually learn the 3d shapes and it's not like i've been purposely avoiding avoiding learning the 3d shapes it's just that the angles that i've been drawing required such a weak amount of perspective that i subconsciously didn't really see the full point of learning the little pieces and just yesterday i switched to using boxes which allows me to draw these more unique angles so perhaps subconsciously i was onto something and all of this was just an idea but after thinking about it for a while i started to say to myself oh no oh no this is totally what i've been missing on day one i wasn't calling boxes magic i was calling the hard angles angles magic but now that i know what this magic is i can abuse it honestly i don't know what's wrong still but i know if i keep doing these hard angles i will find the missing pieces the finish line is already in sight Bondi west is on loop guys it's about to get rolled day after day i drew faces one after the other taking hard angles on i was pumping out more heads than a guppy just truly trying to push my limits trying angles i've never seen before trying extra low camera shots extra high camera shots again and again checking my work for longer than i'm drawing it's been nine days but the progress was astronomical 
comical. They're all bald, but the angles are looking nice. There's been a few videos now where I've been like, yo, I've gotten so good at drawing faces. But the thing is, I would always have like relapses. So I think it's pretty cool that I can draw these hard angles without struggling too much. And I can't really have a relapse when I can draw these more unique angles. But guys, there is still more ways to go. If you guys are looking at it and going like, I don't know what's wrong with it. Don't worry. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it either. But I still get this feeling that something's slightly off. So I'm going to try to figure out what it is. But while I do, I want to talk about the weird stuff I've been learning recently. There's so much weird stuff out there. Like how your nose is actually the length of your open mouth. And how you can't breathe if you bite your bottom lip. I wonder if I actually caught anyone with that. All right, so there's one more I want to show you guys. And so in this sheet, the only thing that they changed here was the eyes and they added some like shading for some of them. But that's all it took to change the vibe. However, I put a twist on this idea. I think it's a great example why these faces look good, but they're slightly off. There's got to be some minor misalignments here, but I haven't been able to figure out what these minor misalignments are, except that's when this face happened. A face in my sketchbook. And I looked at it and went, wow, this face is flat as hell. It's like paper, which led me to think about this mistake again where the faces were round itself and that's when i went ah what i've been needing is something kind of in between because if you look at a face it's curved but it's not curved like a damn ball or flat like a box except that's not right either i just noticed that i didn't realize that the eyes are so parallel and i've known that the eyes control the curving of the face but it's specifically the eyelids that show the curvature you see how like the shapes of the eyes are changing and the thing is i've always changed the eyelids but it was based on memorization right now i understand why but this actually brings up an even bigger question Question. I've always known that the eyelid wraps around the eye, but how come it never fully clicked? I don't think me from five days ago would actually fully understand my eye explanation. So instead, I'm going to actually show you guys what I did to figure this out. Or not figure out, but understand. And again, it just relates to the big picture. Every single angle is like another hint to completing the bigger picture. And so what I would do is just like stare at one part and I just moved around until I've seen every angle. Also, just stare at the lips real quick. There's like just something so lively when you look at a 3D model. You just just get such a more 3d feel from it it just becomes so much easier to see how every single tiny piece interacts with each other i'm talking down to the to the little eyelid roll here look at how the top lip disappears look at not the eyeball but the eyelids and without looking at all these angles you don't really get a feel for this and every angle turn is like an extra little hint that you get to speed run getting better so now guys everything should be in place all i need to do now is grind it out except this time i'm gonna try to get everything to be perfect perfect is normally something I don't aim for, but man, I'm not gonna stop drawing faces until I will never mess up on them ever again. So I'm drawing back to back to back now. Drawing faces on the daily, every day, multiple times a day, just trying to iron out every mistake that could ever exist. Just truly trying to get to the point where without a doubt, I could draw the face from any angle without stressing. And on day 29, I hit the point where it's too easy to draw them. I've been able to feel the finishing line for a while now, but it feels so surreal to hit this point. It really feels so surreal. The last piece I was missing that I'm just now realizing is that the eyes are a bit too far apart. But damn, guys, this video was started 29 days ago, which is crazy. Also, I find it funny that most of my progress ever has been in these last 20 days. And here are some more faces I drew. I drew so many. I also practiced like windy hair a lot because I think windy hair is like one of the coolest things you can draw. Something I also did was practice some expressions, in which I thought turned out really cool. It was really fun to mess around with these expressions. And so if I were to give you guys one tip or two tips, Again, the 3D model, it's OP. Use it to look at a bunch of different angles. And then instead of using the sorrow head, I use manga material for the structure. Because a sorrow head is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to look at. But the manga materials one is as simple as it can really get. It is $5 to $15 a month, but it was worth it. But all right, guys, I'm currently terrified. I haven't drawn a torso in a whole two weeks. So right now I'm questioning whether I should use an oval or a box to draw the torso. But honestly, I'm about to stick to the good old box, man. Ovals and spears have caused me a lifetime of trauma. I'm gonna stick with the saying, bro. If I can't draw it in a box, I can't draw it at all. I think there's a lot of ground in that. All right, so right now I'm drawing a torso. I don't even remember when I decided to do all the anatomy pieces one at a time, but I guess that's what I'm rolling with. It's definitely more interesting that way. <laughs> I just hope in the end, I don't have a relapse. That would be so sad. But guys, I finished my first torso now. And I realized that this is about to be much harder than the face. I'm not drawing a torso. I'm drawing something that can twist, something that could bend. I'm drawing 
drawing two things, a rib and a pelvis. So after drawing this gnome looking torso, I knew I had some unfinished business in box land. Now to show this problem, look at this box. This is this. So until I'm able to make the box look like a real human body, I will not be leaving box land. All right, right now I'm just grinding it out. It's pretty cold in my room, but these boxes are about to make me bust a sweat. And after two hours, I still was not able to gain full control over it. All right, so I've opened up a new page now and I'm just grinding it out. Hard grinding. Over and over again. But slowly but surely, the gap starts to open up like someone who doesn't wear their retainers. And you can finally start to see that there's some space in between the boxes. But the boxes kept acting mentally ill. So I decided to get the box a spine. And oh, look at that. Bro started cleaning up his line art. He's getting good at it now. But psych, I just did that so you can see what's going on. I told this beautiful creature to move forwards and this motherfucker would move backwards. And now this is when I decided to add an X on top of the box. And as we all know, X marks the spot. And after a thousand years later, I had finally gained control over this beast. The box. And some of you guys are going to be like, what even happened? Hey, and to be honest, I can't explain it either. I was just drawing boxes nonstop. Here, let me show you its implications. Or maybe I can't. At least not instantly. All I'm doing here is getting a feel for the torso. To avoid having to relearn anything ever again, I'm just treating it as if I don't know anything. All right, guys. So eventually, torso after torso, the weird stubby gnome body slowly started to turn into something human. And as planned, once I got the default body down, it was really easy to start drawing the more unique angles. I have practiced drawing boxes for way too long and for way too hard for this to be not easy. And I think I've changed my take on practice testing. I still think drawing from imagination is a great thing to do. But as long as I'm truly, 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 truly trying to think it 3D, it doesn't really matter if the reference is in front of me, hidden. All that matters is if I have a mistake, it's getting eliminated in every angle. But I will say without all this practice testing I did, I would have never been able to find what the problem was. All right, guys, I haven't talked to you in the last three days, but I finally done it. I'm really happy with these torsos. They are looking really good. But most surprisingly is I haven't even drawn that many of these. And most of them were the gnome bodies. I just feel really comfortable with them. And I'm really glad that I didn't have to draw like a hundred of them, like for the head. But guys, why did this take so long, right? This still did take nine days. And the main reason why this took nine days is because there is just so much information on manga materials, man. And I decided to look at all of it because I was scared. You ever just watch a tutorial and you're like, hmm, I already know all this. But then you're like, uh, what if what I need is at the very end? So then you watch the whole video. That's basically what happened here. But then I realized, wait, there's actually so much that I don't know here. So it turned out fine. And yo, I feel like I sound like I'm sponsored, but I'm actually not. I'm just in love. Lastly, I think the hugest help has been immediately jumping to the hardest angles as soon as I can do the basic angle. Because the easy stuff will never be the hard stuff, but the hard stuff will always teach the easier stuff better. Damn, bro, that's a TED Talk closer right there. But all right, guys, I just thought about it. I don't actually have to learn all the ways the arms and legs look in perspective. Since they normally just look the same, this will probably be so easy to learn. That was a lie. That was a lie. That was a lie. I just jinxed myself. I thought I had to study a lot for the torso. Well, nah. The legs are so complicated. But actually, I finished. I finished. I finished. Why such a huge buildup just for me to finish instantly? Well, I have nothing to say for the legs. The legs are looking leggy. <laughs> they were hard, but I have nothing to say about them. Also, the arms have been completed as well. I know this looks extra sketchy, but I hate arms. I did just enough to where it wouldn't be hard to draw them. And you probably never thought about it, but your arm twists, your shoulders twist, and this alone makes it one of the hardest pieces to learn. All right, so later in the day, I felt like shading one of the faces I drew earlier. I also decided to split her face open because I just wanted to make it more than just a shaded random face. I think it turned out really cool. I'm glad I split her face open. Also, real quick, I want to do a little tour of a sketchbook page, because why not? We got some pretty cool stuff here. We got... <laughs> We got Boichi over here in the corner. Boichi down below as well. I think this is... I forgot. That's that's the blue Elmo. I forgot his name. Oh, the Cookie Monster. I don't know how I forgot his name. We got the Renegade Raider. Just a random RPG. And a girl that's about to get shot. I think these are Anya's eyes. <laughs> hey, I drew another guy, guys. Let's go. He don't look like a guy, but he's a guy. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys one more guy. Yeah, that's another guy. <laughs> There's also Mario next to him. But guys, it's time for the final boss. Hands. And you know, guys, hands are definitely not my favorite thing to draw. But they are my favorite once they're finished. So I really, really want to get good at drawing them. But also, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to say this or not. But I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. This is the true reason why this video exists. I said it was because I was plateauing. But that was a lot. What I truly realized was I'm plateauing because I'm following bad advice. The reason why I started watching learning videos was so that I can structure my practice around proven science. The first few 
three days were so scuffed because I was transitioning to using only stuff I learned from learning videos. And the part that hit me the hardest about all of this is that I truly believe I could have hit this point like months ago. It's just that I was trapped in noob hell and the only guaranteed way to get out was to become my own teacher. But is a lesson to learn how to learn more efficiently so you can dunk on bad advice? Well, yes, but I want to include another angle. A great question I asked myself yesterday was, was it really the art videos that screwed me up with the Loomis method or was it me? And I came to the conclusion that I can't expect them to say everything. But more importantly, with how many videos I've watched, someone definitely said something about my problem. One great video definitely did. So that brought me to the realization that having all the information in the world does me no good if it just flies over my head. So if I were to give one piece of advice to anyone, it'd be just to watch a bunch of videos on how to learn more efficiently specifically the ones based in science so you can stop good advice from flying over your head and so you can dunk on bad advice the three main guys i recommend are ali abdal justin sung and colin gallup just type in any of their names and then add learning right after it and you'll be chilling hope this really helps but all right guys the hands are finished i spent six days total of drawing hands they definitely need a bit more work but if i focus up i can definitely draw them and guys i drew so many bro i drew so many some of them look really bad like walrus hands but overall they're good but ladies and gentlemen we have finally made it i think i have finally done here oh my god and i haven't put together a single character which is honestly overkill but all right guys i am putting together the pieces and i'm so terrified but i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna only go for hard angles because i'm a maniac also these are gonna be drawn from purely imagination oh i hope i don't have a relapse that would be a tragic ending <laughs> It would be some spixture shit. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Someone please call a medic. Nah, I'm trolling. I think I got it, guys. I think I'm able to draw characters really well. The goal has been completed. There was no stress in here. And bro, it feels like I've gained freedom and it just feels amazing honestly i was just vibing out here and i think even if i stopped here i'd still be really happy i could definitely make a manga at this level and i'm so glad that i won't have to like struggle or i should say i'll definitely still struggle but it won't be like i'm dying and so yeah for the next video of my journey i'll be getting back to shading and drip if you want to check out my twitter the link's in the description down below but with that said thanks for watching the video and have a good day